All right, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're interviewing a very special man. His name is Peter. He's the Einstein of Wall Street. You may have seen him all over the news. Anyway, we're really looking forward to speaking to you. Absolute pleasure, man. Good to have you on today. My pleasure. What's up? All right, so talk to me. The first question for you is, what do you think? What's going on in the market this week? We always hear your updates. What's your thoughts? Okay, so obviously we know the market's been down. Everyone's been getting hurt. You know, earnings season's been really rough. Tech's been under pressure. A lot of these stocks are down 30, 40, 50 percent, and we know that. A day, a week, a month may not make a market, but clearly the market has been down significantly over the first three quarters. What happened this week, I hope, is sort of a little bit of a bounce off the mat, as you would call it. Maybe it's a bear cat bounce. Maybe it's developing, the market's developing a little bit of a bottom. Maybe people's perception is that things aren't as bad as they seem, even though around the world it does seem pretty bad. But the market had a rally this week. The market had a rally this month. It's been the best October we've seen in a couple of decades. Up 7% in the S&P for the week. The Dow was up, I think, 5%. So that's worth, worth noticing, yeah, right? When the market gets your attention, pay attention. It's not always good to just be a doomsayer and say we're going to get into a recession and do all that. You've got to build confidence back in, the, in investors and people putting money to work. Got it. Okay. Question number two. What is your recommendation for young people to get started in investing in the stock market? We obviously have a lot of young people that watch this. What's up? Disclaimer, I cannot recommend anybody to do anything. I can't give you any stocks to pick or be in. But I can say that young people should be investing in their future. They should be involved in the S&P 500. Okay, everybody should take $100, $200 a week, a month, if you can afford it. Cut back on, uh, uh, on Starbucks, come back on sneakers. Don't get the iPhone 14. Invest in your future by putting some money in the S&P 500, which is going to give you trajectory to invest in your future. If you put a hundred, if a 18 year old kid puts $250 a month in the S&P 500 at 40, you'll have 800 grand at 60, you'll have 1.8 million. I'll leave it up to you. That's you just got to think about it. Invest in your future, buy stocks, not stuff. You don't need the iPhone 14 if your iPhone 13 is not broken. Okay. Two more questions. So you're obviously a trader. So can you give us a little bit of insight into what you ag actually do on Wall Street on a weekly basis? Absolutely. You come into the market. Look, mar markets are, are volatile. Markets are fun. In there is the most exciting place to work in the world. I've been here for 137 years. So I've seen it all, right? I went to high school with Alexander Hamilton. So I have a little bit of history behind me. We come in and we trade stocks. On the morning, sometimes we'll trade an IPO. We may trade a secondary. Uh, the, an IPO is an initial public offering, a new company that's going public. And then we trade, uh, we trade the S&P 500. We trade individual names. We trade earnings. I mean, we buy and sell stock over the day for customers at their demand right? Because they're the decision makers. We don't make the decisions here. We're sort of the boots on the ground at the point of execution of stock, buying and selling it by means of the, in, the instructions of a customer. Got it. Okay. And then the last question, which is like a two-parter is why, two do call you, why, do two -parter. You, why do they call you the Einstein of I, Wall Street? Well, like I said, I may look like Einstein. I am not that smart. So why do they call me the Einstein of Wall Street? Obviously, it's not that I'm that smart. It's that I look like Einstein. I was nicknamed Einstein on Wall Street from Erin Burnett. She's uh, now at CNN. She used to work here on the floor. And kind of the name stuck. And then the Einstein on Wall Street, when I got involved in social media and stuff, we sort of came up with a fun like, little... Do you uh, do the whole thing by choice? Like, is it a marketing ploy? Because no one's going to know who you are if you just look like every other guy, but because you look like... Well, you, I, I look like you. myself. So there's no way I'm going to look like every other guy. Right? And my personality, my exactly, I have crazy hair and I've always had crazy hair. And so I, I identify myself as a broker and it's sort of, it's a brand that, that I created and it's a lot of fun and it gets the attention necessary. Look, everybody who's involved in social media or anything like that, and they're able to build and develop a platform, it's a matter of what you do with the platform. I could sit there and just be the guy I am, or I could try and inspire and, and motivate people to get involved in the market, invest in their future, and do good things. I've taken my brand and kind of tried to blow it up so I can be an inspiration to other people. That's it. All right. Thank what you more so do you much. want to know than we that? We appreciate it. Pleasure.